Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a bit of a one-off as far as testing for the Mega Drive Mini and this will be applicable to the SNES and NES Classics to boot and of course you've also seen me do quite a bit of the PlayStation Classic testing. Wait for it! Wraith Mode Activate, this is a great great car interceptor from the movie The Wraith. Beautiful beautiful B movie, love that movie. I'm going to have to go back and watch it again and Charlie Sheen is actually in it. And uh, ironically enough I've been watching his series called Anger Management which is actually a pretty fun series. Follow up to of course Two and a Half Men. But we're going to be loading our type Delta right now. We're going to be doing a little bit of a test example here. Let's load this up and look at the top lot for a grade on the curve today as far as overall performance and speed. Uh, in contrast to each of my test perimeters. And uh, again, right now at the top left, we have 60 frames per second for the win. And Irem is a fantastical company behind many, many games such as the original R-Type series. And of course, stuff like uh, the lesser known Ninja Spirit. That got really irritated when I actually bought Ninja Spirit on my iOS iPhone a few years ago. And then the license for it expired. And I was unable to re-download it. But in any case, I have the game permanently, uh, and I'm never going to let it go. It's in my permanent mainstay. I'm going to start this game here for a moment here. And I have to actually say that the uh, version of Ninja Spirit on the Triple Graphics 16 is by far better and more glorious than the actual arcade version because you actually have different settings that actually can be tweaked to make the game a truly universally amazing experience, as uh, are many of the other arcade games that have been ported to the Triple Graphics 16. I mean, just look at uh, some of the other games like Spider House. They are pretty much spot on. And if you play like them on Main Trails and 3 Stream and then play it on Turbo Graphics 16, you might not even know the difference. It's almost going from like 96 bit rate to 128 bit rate. You might not know unless you're an audiophile. But let's check out the sauce on this here. And again, this is one of the games that I got for roughly 20 US dollars along with RC to go. The next game I'm going to be showcasing next. And these were games that I couldn't even find in stores at the time because these were near the tail end of like the PlayStation lifespan in my area. But I had a friend that ran a local mom and pop uh, antiquity store as far as like video games are concerned and he helped me acquire some of these games and uh, yeah, even like the X-Men Mutant Academy, the fighting game which is a little bit like Marvel vs. Capcom and such, that was a tough game to find as well. I mean, there's so many obscure games that I was really into. And I'm always into obscure games here, but you can see 60 frames per second at the top lot there. And think of games like God of War 1 2, when they re-released them so you can use component cables and have a little bit of upscale for the graphics and such, you'd have a little bit of an appearance like this. We're going to go into RetroArch Settings Core Options here. Click Menu Options. And we're going to go to this little option here, Enhanced Resolution. We're going to toggle both of these on and go back. And uh, we're going to actually see what the frame per second and a little bit of a perimeter test goes to. And it's like slap, uh, slap given from how I mentioned about it, if you remember that. We're going to get slapped right all one time here. And we're going to go straight down to roughly 40 frames per second. Not for the win here. I mean, uh, this is abysmal, and uh, even though the graphics look way, way fine and dandy, much, much better, just like having a golden ticket from uh, Willy Wonka as far as the graphics are concerned, but the performance and speed are more like uh, the Sonic before he got changed to the new design. This is like the earlier design of Sonic. And it's not a bad movie, still a fun movie, but this is not working for me whatsoever. We're going to have to like, disable this now. We're going to go back into options here and turn it off. Uh, enhanced resolution, we're turning it off. Off, off. And then we're gonna go back to my playlist here. And we're gonna go to the other game that I got for roughly 20 US dollars around the same time. And we're gonna load this with the same core. And this is pretty much on par. PCSX1 and PCSX Rearm Neon are pretty much uh, same performance and speed wise on the Mini Classics. But again, we're trying to get HD mode activate, and that's what I'm going for here. And I'm doing uh, a lot of compiling, and these are the test results right here, as you're going to see. We're doing RC to go right now. If you like games like, of course, Championship Pro Am, and there's a game like this, kind of on, of course, of the Sega Master System, as well as on the Mega Drive, and even on the NES, like RC Pro Am. Uh, one and two. Love both of those games. And Taito is an amazing, amazing company. Publisher as well as developer. Let's check this out. If you like RC Pro, you're going to be right at home with this game. Again, we're at roughly 60 frames per second. And this game, right now, I'm not going to have any music in the game because I actually uh, ripped this game. I took the music and videos out of this game roughly around the NES Classic times in 2017 uh, because the game was too big to really fit on the internal NAND memory. But uh, it is what it is. I have a lot of these games there. They're uh, good for very, very quick plays. I have these games that like roughly 20 to 40 uh, megabytes without the videos and music uh, included. And some of the music is included here, but I'm talking like the standalone external music uh, WAV files. But right here, we're going to be at roughly 60 frames per second, I hope. We're going to test this out once we get in game here. Okay, let's see what we have here.
This game is actually incredible because it has a career mode where you can actually earn money and unlock all kinds of cool upgrades and special vehicles and such. Again, we're at 60 frames per second here, but the graphics leave a little bit, uh, uh, they're a little bit underwhelming as far as like HD mode activate. So I'm going to try to go into HD mode activate right here, same way I did with our type Delta right now. And uh, I'd actually love to see this game show up on like the PSN because even they got like uh, Gradius 5 and my Contra game on there, uh, Shatter Soldier. But we're going to go into options again. I need to have my R-Type final on there though. But we're going to go to, of course, uh, Enhanced Resolution, all and on. And uh, let's do Slaps uh, Given Again from How I Met Your Mother. And uh, bam, what do we have? We're going to probably get uh, hit pretty bad with a performance and speed pop here. Yes, we drop like uh, roughly 15 frames per second. And it's very, very stuttery. The music and sound is way abysmal. But again, we have the candy dandy graphics there. This is awesome for the graphics. But we need to do a little bit better than this. Uh, this is not doing it for me. So we're going to turn that uh, back on. Quick menu options. And again, this is a one-off like the comic. I mean, look up uh, Punisher Kills the Marvel Universe. Like I said, it is an amazing comic. And we're going to go to uh, turn this off again. Bam. Bam. And we're going to go to uh, my playlist again. And we're going to load up the same game. And we're going to do it with the HD Extreme Amp Turbo for the very, very next release. Work in progress there. And it's going to have HD mode activate from the get-go. Here we're going to see at the top left what kind of frame per second we get performance and speed-wise. Let's check this out from the side here, and I'll try a few more games again. I'm doing quite a bit of compiling for all these uh, systems, and I'm testing these out today before I go to work. And I'm within a week of release now, so it's getting pretty damn cool. I just updated the PUA Extreme Core as well, and I finished up some of the Nintendo 64 stuff, and all the PlayStation stuff is pretty much spot on. And one thing to note here, no matter whether or not you're on... Uh, HD mode activate or standard cores videos do not run all too well because they're pretty much uh, there's no hardware acceleration so unless you have the capacity to pretty much deconstruct an ISO take the videos and downsample them to a lower bit rate and then repackage the ISO you're gonna have some stuttery choppy videos in about every game you play it is what it is but you're gonna have some options with the next release for all four of the mini classics here but we're again checking this out we have HD mode activate upscaled from the get-go here and let's see what we run with here and uh, I'm going to try to tweak uh, and get the vibration working a little bit more accurately as well because this is a great game with vibration mode activate too. But let's check this out here. Again, amazing, amazing game. Our type for the win. And I love our type uh, uh, final and Delta, sorry. Delta's on PlayStation 1, final's on PlayStation 2. And I love some of the stages in Final where you literally like flip entirely upside down as you're going in some great nifty water effects. But look at this amazing graphics here. These are so much cooler with the upscaled visuals. And we're at roughly 60 frames per second. And when we get to some crazy on-screen shenanigans here, we may drop a few frames per second here. But again, I'm not going to edit this video whatsoever. I don't want it to be like Max Headroom from the 80s here, where we have like thousands of nervous takes when people try to edit. And say, you might watch some of these videos where people are actually talking to the camera, and you'll see them like jitter or jitter like uh, every two seconds because they're basically saying five words, and then they're editing that little thing and stringing it all together. I like just doing all my videos in one take in a one-off. It was awesome. But again, our type... Delta is running fantastical at roughly 60 frames per second here. So now we're going to have to go to RC to go. We're going to do this with the same exact core. HD Extreme Amp Turbo Mode Activate in the sales runs. And then we're going to test a couple more games and see how they run with the update in course and such. But like I said, Wraith is an awesome movie. It even has Ron Howard's brother. And I started watching uh, again, like, Grace American Hero on Tubi. Fun, fun show from way back. You saw me do a drum and karaoke video to it. But it also made me look at some of the other shows on there. I watched uh, Third Rock to the sun, from the sun, and then I started watching Anger Management, and Anger Management, like I said, is a fun, fun show, and even in the first episode, it's kind of like an FU to, of course, uh, the people behind 2 and F men because of all the drama that has happened, but let's check this out, we're in HD mode, activate, and the graphics should look considerably better here, and then, uh, I give personal thanks to Patrick Milfin for the next game I'm going to showcase after this, because I'm a big, big fan of hard driving and race driving. I've been trying to get a good, good version of it running on many classics, and I'm going to show you something pretty damn awesome next. Okay, let's go to this. Again, we're at 60 frames per second. HD mode activity here for the win, upscaled. We're going to do the exact same stage here. Now, I love my RC Pro on games. Any game like this, one thing that's kind of interesting is whenever you get a game like this on mobile phone, they change your controls where you pretty much stare in the direction that you're pointing. I like the old uh, tried and true where you can actually get reverse control. Okay, let's check this out. We're in HD mode activity. And uh, wait for it, wait for it. Yes, we're at 60 frames per second here. We need to get first place mode activated at 60 frames per second here. 
I'm definitely going to be coming back to this, doing, uh, of course, the unlocking of money so I can get some more cool vehicles. You can get way, way faster cars, upgrades, etc. So damn awesome. And I played this game so many times over the years, I can actually get right through first place mode I from the get-go here. Just like when you play like games like Grand Tourism, it takes you a few races to actually get used to the learning curve as far as the non-rubber band AI uh, intelligence and such. Because when you play games like Need for Speed and Burnout and such, it's all rubber band physics and no matter where you are on the stage, the people are always telling to you. But in games like this right here, RC to go and Gran Turismo, the better you get, the better you are in adapting to the stages. So I should have no trouble getting first place and keeping first place in this because I played it so many times. But the game does get uh, way, way more challenging once you get into it. But then it's so damn awesome here. Again, I'm going to show you the game that I pretty much loved on my Mega Drive way, way back. We're talking about hard driving. We're going to run this with the work in progress uh, as far as Genesis in here. And uh, this is uh, this game is kind of a semantic thing because I tried playing this on May, my PC. And it has tremendous issues with calibration. And I love this music and it sounds like uh, basically Holiday Road from the Vacation movie. But we're going to start the game here per normal. And this is one of my uh, initial games, along with Lakers vs. Celtics, that I played the hell out of, but Jesus wise, for the Mega Drive. And the uh, race drive on uh, Super Nintendo handles polygons terribly, so it doesn't even remotely uh, grasp the concept of the awesomeness of this game. And I've played this game so many times, I always, always have to hit the cow, but I do this. Oh no, no! We get these instant replays that are damn awesome here, check this out. Do 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 do. And I love playing this in the arcade cabinet, it's so damn beautiful. Uh, let's check this out. And we can't pause the arcade game, obviously, but we're going to try to hit the cow here. And I've done everything with my friend where we try hitting, like, the, the barn, jumping over the barn, etc. But let's hit this cow real quick. Come on, hit the cow, hit the cow, hit that funny move, cow. There we go. That is so awesome. Again, this game is uh, pretty damn cool, but uh, Patrick Melvin showed me, uh, basically, Unleash the Awesomeness here in this Japan-only game called Race Driving. We're going to run it with HD Extreme, <laughs> HD Extreme Amp Turbo, and just check it out for yourself. And that only has like new levels, but it has a beefed up version, like a pseudo awesome remake of the original. I mean, they loosened up the controls a little bit to make it a little bit easier to handle, but uh, it is what it is. It's still cool to play. Let's check this out. Time Warner Interactive is basically tension when they merged. Okay, let's check this out. Okay. I've had the time of my life. They used the exact music from the beginning of I've had the time of my life. Okay, let's check this out. This is actually the uh, build-in remake of Race Driving, which includes both the Race Driving and Hard Driving tracks. Right here, it starts out the same for normal, but once I put start here, we can go down to the start here, and we can go down to the track. Super Stunt is actually the track for Race Driving, but we're going to go to the original track, which is the Hard Driving one, which I just played. Let's check this awesome out, and we're going to compare here. HD mode activate, and look how smooth and seamless this is. Let's go! <laughs> it's kind of voice narrator here, and there's some funny stuff I noticed there, like, obviously the controls are a little bit easier to handle, and the game is damn smooth as butter now. Let's see if we can hit the cow. Oh, come on, let's hit this cow real quick. Come on, hit the cow. The cow! I'm gonna hit the blast out of my sound system. Oh, jeez, that's the replay. <laughs> Oh, it's like a uh, Euro trip or road trip. Road trip when he tries jumping uh, the car over the Ford Taurus. Let's try doing this real quick. And I've been through this game so many times. And you see the traffic's on the wrong side of the road because it's Japan right now. I'm in the USA. We're going to do this little part here. Be roughly 90 miles an hour to get past it without crashing. And let's try to get through this entire thing here. And there's some funny things I saw, like I said. I'm going to be playing out of this game, but oh, no, no. Let's try to get into this little loop. No, no, no. No, let's do this. Oh, okay. We don't want to go too fast there. We'll lose this. Okay. Yeah, it's very smooth as butter here. And I used to love playing this in the arcade. I mean, it feels more like the arcade with the smooth graphics. Again, thank you, Patrick. I mean, initially, when I played some of the newer stages, I didn't think of much of this. Like I said, the controls are just a little bit cleaned up to the degree to make the game a little bit more manageable for novices to the game. But uh, it is one of I'm going to be playing quite a bit of this in the future. And we get uh, careen through here. And we should be able to hit the timer here. And the cool thing is, watch what happens when you actually... Whoa, whoa, instant replay. I didn't mean to do it. I keep going to the wrong side of the road there. do 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 Boom. Okay, we're going to get through here. We got this. We're going to get an instant replay if we don't here. But I'm going to show you something else really, really cool in a moment here. Let's get to the instant replay here. Oh, come on. I need a time. I need a time here. I want to make it all the way through here. We should be at the little uh, check... Oh, no, no. One second. Oh, look at that. Right at the finish line here. But we're going to get into the replay nonetheless there. Right at the finish line. I got screwed here. Look at this beautiful instant replay here. 
I was just having too much fun crashing. It kind of reminds me of like when you play Gran Turismo 4 and you have that beautiful replay. We can actually push the triangle button on the controller and go, look, we're hitting the cow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Bam! <laughs> I heard the cow and the replay. Awesome. We can switch the camera angles here. Round view, back view, fall view, driver view, and of course we can do fixed view again. This is so damn awesome. We can push start. And uh, under our initials, we'll just do KM real quick. See what our score is here. And we'll try the game one more time. Awesome. I'm just gonna try this game one more quick time. Okay. And we're gonna go to uh, we'll go to the super stunt track this time. And now I'm gonna show you something else I noticed about the game that's pretty funny. But yes, uh, I'm actually gonna try to ride right behind somebody here. Watch what I notice about the game when you ride behind traffic. It's hilarious. We need some uh, traffic here. And this is up when I played race driving in the arcade. I I had so much trouble making it around the top of the hill. You see what I mean when we get up there? It, it's just so hard. I remember I had to put like I believe it was like 75 cents, but every time I went to the top of the hill, I'd almost always wipe out just trying to go around this curve here. It's so damn hard. Whoa! <laughs> we got this. We got our checkpoint here. And again, uh, the arcade version is much more difficult. They definitely made this a little bit easier as far as controls are concerned. Double move! <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. They're coming right for us. Can we make it all the way through this track here? Should have a, like a double loop-de-loop -loop coming up here if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Oh, we got this. We got this. We don't want to go too quick because if we go too quick, we're going to crash. Bam. Oh, just made it. Okay. And we're going to try to get around here. Oh, what's around the curve? Oh, wow. I crashed anyway. Instant replay. I always love that instant replay music. Okay, back in action here. Let's go. And they have this on Sega Saturn as well, uh, but it doesn't run that well on a Mini Classics, unfortunately. No! Instant replay. replay. This is fun. In the instant replays, you can see how many times you crash. I kind of wish they had a counter on here that showed how many times you crash, because it's so hilarious to see these in action. Uh, okay, what's around the corner here? Let's get this <laughs> checkpoint. I need some oncoming traffic here because there's one really funny thing if you bump into people. I mean, if you hit them head on, you crash, but you have to see what happens if you actually hit them off from behind. It's hilarious. Oh, no, no! Bam! Try that one more time. <laughs> oh, like matchbox cars. It's like when you had the, uh, the slot cars way, way back with the little remote controls and you try to run them too quick and they went right off the track. That's what this reminds me of. But if you go like roughly 150, you should be able to have a good loop here and go right around without wrecking. Oh, I still hit the bird there. Oh, come on. Let's try some more time here. Uh, I still want to do that other thing though. I need to make it through this loop. Through the loop. Come on, we got this. 150. Okay, come on. Come on. 150. Let's try to keep it straight and narrow here. Oh, damn. I'm stuck at the loop here. Bam! <laughs> I need some practice on it. But uh, we're going to try this one more time here. Uh, let the game end here. I need to do a re restart. Okay. Now we're going to do the other mode real quick. I suck at this uh, super uh, stunt mode, but we're going to go to restart here. Real quick. Do KM again, see what kind of score we have here. Again, I'm going to be playing the holidays. I mean, it's so fun. The experience of just learning how difficult this game is. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the original mode here, because I'm going to show you something funny. Because when you do the original track here, just take this out for yourself here. We're going to go to the uh, original track here, but uh, check what happens here. I'm going to go to the left instead of doing the stun. I'm going to just do it. See these cars right here? Watch what happens. I'm going to go right behind the cars, and it's hilarious. Watch. Let me get behind them. Hey, sure, there's a, <laughs> a cop car. Let's see what happens like in games like this. We're like in Gran Turismo, when, or not Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto when you bump into a cop and they don't do anything at all. Let's see what happens in this game if I bump into a cop. Come on, we got this. We got this. <laughs> it's like Chase HQ right now. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Let's try doing this funny. Here we go. I find this kind of funny addition here. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> ouch, ouch. <laughs> That'd be like a very, very interesting trophy. If they were to put this game like on a PlayStation Network, get the cars to say ouch 50 times. Like, say what? <laughs> but very, very cool. See if I can still uh, make do here. Be kind of cool if like they would update this and had like some biplane from like Pilot Wings flying here, or from like Steel Talons, the other great dungeon game. But let's see if I can still make the cut here. Extra time, 30 seconds. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Whoa! Bam! I'm so screwed. <laughs> 
Uh, what if I can make it all the way through this track? I know I'm gonna run out of time. Oh, we gotta take the wayward uh, thunder, hit the cow. Moo! Can we do it in 20 seconds, guys and gals? Can we do this? Probably not. And the other interesting thing about the game, I'm gonna show you one more thing cool about this game here. For those, I mean, we sell race driving and uh, hard driving here. I'm never gonna make this time limit. I got five seconds to make this time. This is not gonna happen today. I'm never gonna have to practice this. Oh, look, so close to the finish line again. Okay, we're gonna restart the game real quick. Now check this awesomeness out here. Watch what I about to do. I picked the second option to go to the race driving, hard driving, etc. But watch what happens if I do the first option here. It is the uh, redone tracks here, like new, new, new tracks that weren't in the original games. Let's check this out for a moment. And you're here in uh, time of my life again. Here we can choose between uh, Wild Beat, World Sphere, Mirage City. And uh, there's three new tracks completely there. We can choose between some new cars here. Look, <laughs> we can do a truck. A race driver truck. We're going to do this real quick. And check this new track out. And these visuals are just... It took me a little bit to get used to this. And there's even music in the game too. But check this out. Let's go. Kind of like playing an off-road game. Look how strange this is. It takes getting used to it without a doubt. But it has the instant replays, and it feels like I'm playing like Sega Rally or such. It's kind of cool in essence. But definitely cool. I mean, uh, I really, really wish I would have known about this game more, uh, Patrick, like years ago. Because I would have most definitely picked this up in 1996 when the damn game came out. I can't believe that it took me 24 years to realize this game even existed. And there's not much info on this game online. This is such a cool, cool game. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, this is an instant replay. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, there'll be more to come. But uh, oh. Hey